welcome everyone to another tutorial with Brad the Madman. So today we're going to do an automatic sugarcane farm, something really simple. Now it doesn't take a lot, doesn't take a lot at all to build, we'll need a few items, um, but very very easy to do in survival mode. So we want to just go 8 along, what's that, 6, 7, 8, alright and then leave one block gap and go 8 along with sand like so very very simple see alright then we'll just cap off this end like that simple as see alright bit of uh, water in there so that is one heart done simple as that so it's just eight long and then one gap eight sand water in the middle okay next thing you want to do is go up two Oop. That should have been two there. But you want to leave two there and go here. One here, okay? So it looks like an L. And then along you go all the way to the end of your sand. And then again here. Oh, not there. Need to go up one more, sorry. Like that. All right, then one more. So all the way along. Like that. Not you. So what you have is something that looks like that. Nice and straightforward, see? All right, so I'm only doing this with the eight. You can do it with more. Uh, you can just do it again, opposite way, but. So you go up three and then that one across. Then you need sticky pistons. So your sticky pistons go right there. Uh, not sticky pistons, sorry, normal pistons. I keep saying sticky, so used to using them. All right, now, that's the majority of the hard work done. Um, this is just redstone, which isn't too bad. Um, we're going to do this because I like to do it. There we go. <laughs> so, there we go. So, that is how it should look once it's done. And from behind, it should look like that. Okay. The next step, guys, is we want to go up a couple. And right here, you need to do one more piston, but you need it facing upways. Now, on that, you need to put a sand block. So, it is simple then we need a furnace uh, we don't need water anymore we'll get rid of that now the furnace goes whoop don't fall in a hole all right the furnace just goes there and you want to put about 14 items in there okay nice and simple next step is you want to go one out from the piston here just like that and then two out from here like that so two out from the row in front of your pistons two out one out from the sand block and the other piston and you want to go up one there nice and simple see we'll keep this simple next thing you need is one comparator to go in there and see your 14 items in there actually power that comparator then it's just a simple fact as that should have enough power to power those two there, which it does. And then from here, you want to run along, just all along your pistons in front there. So simple, simple, simple. All right, then you just need a single redstone repeater. And as you can see, they're all lit up. And guys, that's it. That is your whole build. All right, so let's just do a bit of a recap. You want to go, well, we'll say eight across here, three here, and then eight sand one block over and then your water at either end whichever end you're not going to build at so that end there all right then you want to go up three from here and then out one and then go along again there and then roll pistons and on the third one up along you go simple as that now then all you do is at the back here go down is you do a furnace on the so you need to put, sorry, do that. So you need, these are your pistons facing outwards. You need to do one facing up with a sand block. A furnace next to it with 14 items in it, if you're doing it this way. Then you just need a simple little redstone thing here. Oh, let me down. We need a comparator, uh, 14 items, sorry, comparator. It'll power these two blocks. One redstone repeater. You can't put more than one, it won't work. And then a roll of redstone, and that is it. All right, now we'll do the next part of this, which is just really simple. All we want to do 
is put one block there like that and then you just do that so it's facing forwards and we put in a chest there we go simple as now something else you might want to do is and this just helps with um we'll go you oh there that go we'll go that um is putting one along here like this and this will just help well i put that in the wrong spot <laughs> Okay, what this does is this helps with the items not going flying away everywhere. So, when they get pushed off, they won't go out. Alright, so let's just build up here. This is just making it look nice. You don't have to do this. This is just me doing it. Alright, then we need some sugar cane. Alright, now this isn't the easiest thing to do with the water going against you. <laughs> so, if you wanted to do this step first, you can. So... And then we go along. Alright, done. Okay, now to give you an idea of how this works, we'll just knock out two of these. Uh, okay, how can I do this? We'll go around here, and we'll put one as far up as we can there. Look at that. And they'll go down. I know they don't look like they're in the water, but they are. As you can see, they're going in. And there you go, guys. That is our automatic sugarcane farm. See? It'll just go all day. Unless you do that. Whatever I've just done. Oh, there it is. There we go. But it'll just keep going and going and going. And, you know, it'll automatically do it. You won't have to worry about coming and cropping them or anything like that. It'll just keep going. So that's it, guys, for me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. And, you know, check out some of my other tutorials. Um... We have a ten, how to kill the wither in 10 seconds. Uh, we also have how to read villages, which is probably one of my most popular videos. But that'll keep going, just going and going and going. It is a very simple design. It looks cool. You know, very, very easy to build. Doesn't take a lot of resources in, in whatever it's called, in survival mode. But it'll just keep going. So, guys, enjoy, um, and I'll see you next time. Peace.